been a month. Can you believe it? A month. School holidays. Oh, you always want to do more, but hey, it's difficult when you've got kids, kids and a dog. Anyway, I've been getting some stuff done, mainly to try and uh, put together content for the Veggie Patch School. And that's done through a process called Double Digging. It's pretty straightforward. It just refers to pretty much hard work, but. A few issues with the sound. Um, gonna have to figure that one out. Um, anyway, filling you in where we're at. So episode three, hope you enjoy and uh, stay hungry. How's my form? Um, time is it now? It's probably about yeah, 4.30, uh, I'd come out side earlier for lunch to get away from the computer. Um, the reality is that they're plastic and at some point they're gonna end up in landfill. So I much prefer to build mine out of timber if I've got a choice. I cannot stand sitting at a desk. And um, yeah, next thing you know, I only came out for five minutes, but ended up spending a bit longer. My lawns did all the weeding of the beds and sorted some stuff out. One of the ones was I'd moved transplant. This is the first garden bed here. I'd moved, I had a lemongrass, split it up. Now over in that bed over there, there's water in it in. Also planted some sunflower seeds. Um, sweated all through this bed here. I did though, however, wanted to showcase one thing that really interesting, a couple of things. So this is some basil that I had planted, and you see it's going great guns here in this pot, but I had some basil actually planted in pots as well, in a different potting mix that I purchased, and they were really struggling. So I've ended up transplanting them over there. And be careful about what soil you purchase, because the pH level, more often than not, is out of whack. And too, all too often I've seen a lot of my students and a lot of customers, clients, come back saying to me, oh, my guard's not doing that well. And I can guarantee nearly every single time it's because of the pH level. I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a quick test to show you how far out it is. Yeah, look at that. Straight away, super alkaline and, you know, the whole reason this plant hasn't been doing very well. And the thing was, that was a bag product that I bought from the big green shed um, and supposedly should be ready to plant and then you wonder why um, you know people don't have success with growing plants essentially what happens is if your soil is too alkaline which often happens when you purchase um, product from Ascendant Soil Center is that it locks up all the um, trace elements so it doesn't get things like magnesium iron etc and that's why it stunts its growth and it also appears quite yellow um, since I probably last did a little um, post, you can see here I've installed some uh, beds. I've sort of only gone one sleep high. The reason being is I actually built one for an example for Veggie Patch School that was higher and broke it down to just be one level because I didn't want to purchase soil. So, I'm actually wanting to create soil over here in my compost bin, basically using all of the food scraps from the house, any cardboard waste goes into that compost bin. And the whole idea is actually to close the loop. So you see here, I've got four beds. I went four beds because I've got the space. It's also great for crop rotation. So to start off with first bed over here, I've planted my root crop. So in here I've got seeds, um, got some carrots, some beetroot, um, some radish. You can sort of see here, the little radish has already come up. Um, then we move over to bed number two, and I've got some um, rapini, which is basically a brassica, and some sunflowers at the back of the bed. Basically add some height, because I want some sort of Really, from a visual perspective, nothing, no more. Um, obviously, the sunflowers will attract bees, but uh, the main purpose of them is they look good and it also adds some height into the, the garden itself. This bed here is my beans. That's all my legumes. I'm also doing that because beans and legumes are notorious for adding uh, 
nitrogen to the soil. So they are green manure. So I'll end up digging that back through as well as you know, eating the beans. And then finally my leafy green uh, bed, which has at the moment I've got some rockets that I planted from seedling. Um, I've also planted some rocket seeds, you can sort of see here. Um, they've already started to come up. I've got some uh, all year round, what they call all year lettuce, as well as some seedlings. So that way I end up sort of staggering um, my crops and that way hopefully I've got leafy greens. Um, Overall, looking pretty good. I've trimmed up the, and tried to open up the, the citrus to actually allow for more airflow. So, and the other thing is I've, I've left some bricks around the place as well as some rocks, because the idea is I've noticed that the bricks have been attracting um, tree frogs. And then also I've left lots of, um, all the stones. So a lot of the soil here has had lots of, um, lots of rock in it. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically putting piles around the place. And that's really just to attract all the lizards. When you're trying to be as organic as you possibly can, the idea is you want to make a home for everyone. So here we go. Also on that night before we finish up, got a new website. There's a section on the website where you can fill in a question, ask me, the hungry gardener, any veggie patch related question might be able to help you out also go check out my youtube channel follow me on instagram feel free to share any of this info at the end of the day listen i can make money i can pass that on uh after i die but i can't pass on my knowledge if i don't share it so hey that's what i'm doing stay hungry